Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial about creating these kind of facades in uh, Rhino. So as you can see, we have a series of this uh, first item of this facade and after creating this one, we can create a multiple copy fr from this uh, item and then after that, we go for uh, creating these patterns uh, on this part. So uh, first step that we should do is to uh, create uh, this element. So I go to uh, another Rhino and I uh, start my modeling process uh, in front view. So the first thing we should do uh, is create a bounding box uh, or bounding rectangle for uh, the first item that we are going to model. So I uh, draw a rectangle like that, for example, uh, 10 meters for the uh, height and for example, uh, 5 meters for the width. So uh, after that, I uh, create a line here and then we should uh, create an uh, ellipse here or um, actually a uh, half ellipse here and a half ellipse or half circle here so uh, I go to this icon and then I choose uh, ellipse from center and then I do create it on this line like that And we can rescale it, for example, like this. And then uh, I'm going to create a circle here. For example, like that. And then I'm going to uh, delete uh, the parts that we don't want. So I uh, actually select all of them and type trim and then delete uh, the parts that we don't want like that okay and I choose these and join them and then I create a copy okay and here uh, I create another uh, half ellipse here and half circle here. So uh, first of all, I uh, explode this and Control C, Control V these parts, and again I join these uh, curves. Then I offset this, for example. Uh, zero point five, and again another one here offset and type zero point five, hit enter. Um, as you can see, it's too much for this one, so I again offset it to, for example, here, 0.3, like that, and I do it for this one too. Okay, I choose these uh, new objects, I go to perspective and bring them back, for example, like that. Okay, and then I draw some lines here. Okay. Uh, after that, I choose the control points of uh, this curve like that
Okay, and I move them, for example, like that to this part. And delete the curves that we don't want. So now I just have to uh, create the surfaces. Uh, I move these control points a little bit further. For example, like that. Okay, I choose all of them and I go to front and rescale them to this shape. Okay, now I choose this and type patch and hit OK like that. And as you can see, it's uh, too much. So I bring these control points a little bit uh, to the back side. And again, I choose this and type patch. Okay. Uh, and next uh, part is to sweep. Sweep to rail. This rail and this rail will be our rails. And uh, this and this. will be our cross section so that's it and again for this part and that's it okay I uh, choose these surfaces and I join them then uh, I uh, hold this uh, green circle here to uh, make a make an extrude here like that so after creating this item the next step is to create the patterns that we wanted before uh, so I go to Google and type slim pattern black and white for example uh, or you can type any uh, kind of patterns that you want to uh, apply on your uh, surface. So uh, I have typed um, a slim pattern black and white, make sure it's black and white, and choose uh, any picture that you like from uh, the options that it shows to you. So I have chosen this item and I have downloaded it to my folder that I have uh, here. So after that, you should convert this. Uh, JPEG to AI file or Illustrator file. So after that I go to this uh, website called Convertio.co and as you can see this is our interface. Uh, then I click on choose files and uh, I choose uh, SLIM pattern JPG and open it. Uh, after that you click on uh, Convert and it asks you to uh, select your format. So I choose Vector AI and then I click on Convert. So our conversion is completed and then I hit on Download and it will be downloaded to my address. So this uh, file is the AI format of uh, this slim pattern. Uh, and now I bring it to Rhino here and click on OK, import file OK and click OK, OK again and you can see that this is our uh, actually pattern and now we want to put it on uh, the surface that we are going to create here so uh, I draw a line here like that and then I type extract uh, iso curve
and I click here and type and uh, I click on this point so right click and then join it with this part okay and now I create a copy from this curve like that and I rotate it and move it to the uh, ground level bring it here and then I click on uh, this pattern group it and now go to top view and rescale it for example uh, hold shift and hold this rectangle and you can have it here and after that we should uh, delete the parts that uh, we don't want so I will delete these uh, parts here, here and the lower parts so as you can see we have deleted the parts that we didn't uh, need them and now this is the parts that uh, we actually want to put on uh, our uh, put on our facade so I click on all of them and then rotate them to uh, X, Z, Z plane and then move them to their place which is here like that and then I click here and uh, pipe them so after it's created we need to block them because we want to make multiple copies from it and if it's just a copy and it's not a block uh, it will increase uh, your uh, size of the project so uh, we need to keep it low so we turn it to blocks uh, type block hit enter and this will be uh, our black point and I uh, rename it to pattern and then hit OK so now it's a block uh, the next step is create multiple copies from uh, these items so I click on these polysurfaces surfaces and make a boolean union and then click on this block and make a group from them and now I go to front view and make my copies hold alt and move your gamba okay and then I go to uh, perspective delete these curves and uh, here I click on curves and delete them so that's it now click on here on group them uh, hold alt and make a copy here and then rotate it to here and move it to this part uh, we can have a box here as our building like that and the box here okay as you can see we have created all we wanted here and then I change uh, the perspective view to Arctic as you can see 
we have created the one we wanted so I hope you have enjoyed the video uh, I will be happy if you subscribe the channel and uh, let me know if you have any problem by writing it down in the comments below so stay tuned for other tutorials see you later